hello everyone so today we will be ending our design of built up compression members okay or design of built up columns so uh, till the last class we have found out that the strength of the leasing in compression is uh, 45 kilonewton which is more than the 21.21 kilonewton which is being applied okay on this cross section and how did we get this 21.21 kilonewton it is there in the is code that 2.5 percent of the load is falling horizontally okay that is the component and then we will resolve it like this okay so 2.5 percent of 615 then um, if uh, this is the triangle okay then if we take x as the load in this direction then the component will be what using cos theta, cos theta cos 45 is equal to base by hypotenuse so using this we get 21.21 kilonewton and this 2.5 percent okay uh, i'm just repeating 1200 kilonewton is falling so each section there are two channel sections ismc 350 it will take 600 600 So this will have a transverse component which is 2.5 percent of 600 okay of uh, uh, like in the load falling on its uh, panel uh, its uh, channel section so this 2.5 percent that is given in clause 7.6.6.1 all right now i told you that this load uh, may have a tendency of getting reversed in direction okay so we have to take in consideration the reversal of the load okay reversal of load direction so 600 may go in this direction okay then what will happen this will also what change the direction so 21 per if the load gets reversed okay then compression changes to tension okay so now this time 21.21 kilometer will become hot tension load okay so we have to check whether this lacing can carry a load of 21.21 kilonewton or not in tension okay in compression it could take 45 okay that is fine but in tension can it take 21.21 in compression it is safe it can obviously take 21.21 its capacity is double 45 but is it uh, is the capacity of the lacing um, it's sufficient intention so for that we need to uh, find check the capacity of the leasing in tension so for checking the tension of leasing we need to use this formula okay uh, i guess you already know these formulas okay we have to check for tension we have to use clause number 6.2 and 6.3.1 because 6.3.1 is for plates and 6.2 uh, is design strength for yielding of gross section and 6.3.1 is for plates design strength due to rupture of critical section okay so let us uh, first do the rupture one okay all right so what is a n net area f u is uh, ultimate stress so uh, f u is 410 410 then net area net area will be what we know the thickness is 12 which will be how much there will be one 
uh, bold, isn't it? So for the width, 50 minus 18. For bolt, we have to subtract uh, the bolt hole. So for this uh, width for net area, total width is 50 minus bolt hole since the diameter is diameter of the bolt is 16 we have to give a 2 mm clearance so diameter of the bolt hole becomes 18 and ultimately this is the net area and gamma m1 we get it from the is code also so you check what is the value of gamma m1 it is there in page number 30 table 5 page number 30 table 5 so serial number 3 page number 30 table 5 serial number 3 For IS 800 page 30, table 5, serial number 3, we get this equal to 1.25. So how much you are getting? You just check. We divide it by 1000. We are dividing it by 1000 to keep the value in kilonewton. So do the calculation. It is 11.357 into 11.357 into 10 to the power 4 Newton. Okay. Or we can say 113.5 kilonewton. Just check how much you are getting. You will get around this value. There might be some difference in decimal, don't worry about it, but you will get it around this range. Okay, 113.5. Okay, so this is the capacity. That means this amount of tension uh, will be able to. This is this amount. Hello? Uh, yeah, this uh, 113.5 kilonewton amount of tension can be taken by. The leasing okay and how much is the applied load it is 21.21 so it can take five times almost five times more tension so obviously the leasing is safe in tension from this point of view let us also check this one You're getting my point from here. This is these are the capacity, isn't it? 113.5 we have got. So this much tension it can take, but the tension applied is just 21.21, so it is safe. Now let us go to this one: yielding of cross section. For yielding of cross section, Gamma M0, you can get it from the IS code. It is there in page number 30. Okay. And uh, serial number 1, page number 30, IS 800, table 5. Okay. So, uh, you put this value. Also, you divide it by 1000. Okay. So, how much are you getting from here? Just check whether you are getting a value like this. If you are, uh, if you have to get almost like this, there may be some difference in decimal. Don't have to worry about it. So you see here in this uh, condition also, the capacity is very high, almost six times, more than six times, almost seven times. So.
so we can say that the leasing are safe okay it can take a tension of 21.21 easily now uh, till now we have uh, almost reached 90% of our problem okay now you see last thing uh, that we have to check is whether one bolt at each end is sufficient or not okay whether just one bolt is good enough so for that we need to find out the bolt fellow and for the bolt if the bolt fellow is higher okay then the applied load of what 21.21 whether it is compression or tension you just worry about this 21.21 whether one bolt can take 21.21 or not okay if we can find out that the bolt value is higher than 21.21 then obviously one bolt is enough suppose the bolt value becomes 10 that means what uh, suppose bolt value is 15 then uh, what after 15 kilonewton load the bolt will fail so uh, we will be able we will have to add to one extra bolt okay so that the bolt value becomes what 15 into 230 then only it will take a load of 21.21 okay so that is the last thing that we need to check whether one bolt is sufficient or not okay so first find out the uh, uh, bolt value for which we have to find out the strength of the bolt in shearing and bearing now uh, for the strength of the bolt in shearing we have to check uh, that whether the bolt is in single shear or double shear okay so you see here it's not like only two leasings will be there it will be continued isn't it like this it will keep on getting continued okay so what is happening here if we just ignore this one okay it is the end okay but in most cases what is happening the the bolt is connected to two leasings okay so two leasings means there will be double shear okay so uh, one leasing like this under leasing below okay then below it there is the Are you getting my point? One leasing below another leasing, then after that there is the channel. So there will be two failure planes. So therefore, what is happening here? There will be double shear. Let us assume that the thread is passing through both the planes. Okay, so what was the formula? NNANB plus NSASB. Okay, so this was the formula and NN and NS are what? Number of shear, uh, failure planes passing through the thread and the shank. So two planes are passing through the thread. So how many planes are passing through the shank? Zero. Okay.
So this becomes directly zero. We can ignore it. Okay. So uh, this is actually v v and s b. Okay. So this is the nominal value. So f u b is what smaller of the ultimate stress for the uh, bolt and the plate material. So compared to the bolt and the plate, which is smaller. So for bolt, we consider grade 4.6 bolt. Sorry, uh, the smaller that condition is will be used in bearing. Okay, if you be simply the uh, ultimate stress for the bolt. Okay, uh, we use the smaller of the like uh, ultimate stress of the bolt and plate in the bearing formula, not in the shearing formula. In shearing formula, don't get confused. It's simply the ultimate stress for the bolt, nothing else. Okay, sorry for the like uh, mistake. Okay, this is exclusively for the bolt. So, if you be, we can get what? 4.6 means 4 into 100. We get 400. So, that is we'll be, uh, what we'll be putting here. So, NN is 2, ANB is what? 78% of the shank area. Okay. So, shank area is what? Pi into 16 square by 4. So you find out what is A and B. So A and B is 156.828. Now put all the values in the formula. What we get? We will get this equation. Isn't it? So calculate it. How much you are getting? If you B is 100. Then NN is 2, then ANB is 156.828. How much? Also, you divide it by 1000 to keep it, keep it in kilonewton. Okay, so 72.4 you get. Now what is V D S V? V and S V by the factor of safety. Okay. So what will be the factor of safety? You see it in the IS code. Okay, again page number thirty, table five. What is gamma MB? This one point two one point two five. Okay. We get it from where? Serial number four. You take bulls bearing type. Okay. Serial number 4B, table 5, page number 30, IS 800. Serial number 4B, table 5, page 30, IS 800, bolts bearing type. And also it is not given to us whether it is the bolting is done in the field or the bolting is done in the shop. So you assume that the bolting is done in the field. Okay. So for both, uh, whether the bolt is done in the field or bolting is done in the shop, you, the factors it will be 1.25 only, but still you have to write the assumptions. So we can write it here.
bearing type bolts field fabrication okay so what is 72.4 divided by 1.25 57.92 so you can see here uh, the value of the bolt the strength of the bolt in shearing is very high okay compared to what 21 21.21 uh, cannot fi uh, like damage the bolt in shear isn't it because it can take a load of a 57.9 in shear now let us go to the bearing okay so the shearing value we have got 57.9 and uh, bearing uh, whatever we get minimum will be the bolt value okay so strength of the bolt in bearing we will be uh, doing uh, we will be using this formula okay now see d is what d is the diameter of the bolt so d we know it is uh, already 16 okay then uh, we have t is equal to the thickness of the plate okay so t will be how much 12 okay if you you take the minimum of the bolt and the plate okay so if you will be 400 and 410 okay out of this you take 400 so uh, now what is remaining kb So KB is the minimum of this. Okay. So E E is what? Edge distance. So for edge distance you have to go to the IS code. So it is said that edge distance depends upon uh, whether the edges are cut by machine or by hand, by manual, okay? So let us consider that the edges are cut by machine. So it will be minimum one, uh, it will be 1.5 times of what the diameter of the bolt hole. So this first one you got 0.5 then next one is p okay for p we have to use clause number 10.2.2 so p becomes 2.5 p is 2.5 times the diameter of the bolt okay so so we can write it like this okay so uh, using this uh, if we find out the values how do you get This is also almost 0 0.5, then 0 0.49, 0.49, then this one is 400 by 410, okay, obviously it will be higher value, so minimum is what, 0 0.49, so we can write it like this, and what is gamma mb, again, you take 
bearing type bolts field fabrication table 5 okay 30 uh, page number 30 so this is 1.25 so finally what is the value Calculate it and see how much it is. 2.5 into 0 0.49 into 16 into 12 into 400 divided by 1.25 into 1000. 75.26. So you see, the bolt value will be what? Minimum of the shearing and bearing. So we have got that the shearing is what? Shearing value that we got was lesser. So the bolt value will be is equal to the value of the bolt that we got in shearing. Okay. So the bolt value is We got it for shearing okay and that value is obviously higher than the applied load of 21.21 that means the bolt can easily take 21.21 because its minimum strength is more than 21.21 okay minimum strength is shear. the bolt value is shearing it is what the shearing value is higher than 21.1 this bolt is safe one bolt is enough okay so that is the end of the build of compression members i hope you have understood the topic properly i tried to do my best and i just want to send one message to all of you if you have any doubt okay in the video you please post your doubts in the comment section you will get the reply okay within one or two hours okay so please don't hesitate you write all your doubts in the comment section of all the video, of the videos in which you have the doubts you will get your your doubts will be cleared it is guaranteed okay so i hope that you all have understood it please give me your doubts please thank you very much